All right, there are a lot of people who feel they have a certain connection with Maine, even if they've never set foot in the state. And that connection came from watching some of the documentaries about Maine made by filmmaker Jeff Dobbs and narrated by Jack Perkins. Hello, I'm Jack Perkins, and this is Acadia National Park. What is it that makes Acadia such a special place? Constant sea working its ceaseless saltwater massage on the granite shore. This documentary and others in a similar vein aired on public television and were watched by millions of people. Part of their appeal was the narration. Warm and relaxed, it made you feel as though you were spending time with a friend. The man with that memorable voice, Jack Perkins, died last week in Florida. He was 85. For more than 20 years, he'd been a correspondent for NBC News and later the host of the A&E show Biography. In 1986, Jack Perkins stepped away from daily journalism and with his wife moved to an island off of Bar Harbor. He joined us on 207 in 2013 and before we talked about his life in Maine, he discussed the impact of his years in television news. Mostly it filled the ego because when you're out there dealing with celebrities and they see you as maybe a minor, and you see yourself as a minor, at least a minor, no, you see yourself as a big celebrity. <laughs> and uh, so you get full of yourself. And if you're full of yourself, there's no room for anything else. In the early 1980s, you came to Maine to do a feature story on Stephen, Stephen King. King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Visited him at his home uh, in Western Maine, Keyser yep. Lake, and found it absolutely captivating and that really got something stirring in your mind, didn't it? It did. It did because we, both my wife and I, had been small town kids in Ohio. And the small town feeling and of those people there around Stephen and in that little town of, of center level, and the woods all around, just really brought something home to us that we were missing living in big cities. So you made a decision yep. to come to Maine. Yep. And you decided to buy a small island off of Bar Harbor. A piece of an island, about a strip of, of 12 acres right across the middle of an island that was otherwise owned by the National Park Service. Were you welcomed with open arms by the locals <laughs> at first? Yeah, by the locals, yes, in a way, but there are environmentalists who opposed it because they didn't want anything built on that island. Then there, were, there was a local editor of the paper who opposed it because he was a young editor, and that's what young editors are supposed to do, is oppose things, I guess. <laughs> What did you build there? Cabin, a small house, uh, solar panels on there. No your public utilities, of course, on the island. Solar panels on the roof for minimum electricity, a wood stove for minimum heat, and a well for water. Very limited, small, and it was, for us at that time in our lives, absolutely perfect. He had that marvelous voice and a real he was, he was a, a gifted good writer, too. In fact, Jack Perkins once said of his work in television, putting the mug on camera gets you recognized by strangers, and that's not unpleasant, but he said the abiding gratification derives from the writing. Yeah.